Uh, oh gods. I get so turned around in this place. Where are we going? To your left. Right. Just keep out of the weeds, I suppose. Which, you know, doesn't help when it's all weeds everywhere. And trees, as the case may be. Well, the gate's open, if nothing else. That is good, so I can just walk right in and not ram directly into the wall. Shush. You're getting better. Thank you, Miss. Oh, uh, not much better. Well, you're getting good enough that sometimes I do forget that you're actually blind. Fair enough. Um... I hear someone with a... Excuse me. Now that the Dawn Guard are back. The vampire's reign of terror is about to end. Ah, uh, madam. Why are you shooting directly down a path? Until next time. Who knows? And there's a wall here. Who's there? I smell blood. 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 Hello? Now your blood is mine. Is oh, great. There? Don't even think about it. How dare you? I have just no more. Give up while you still can. One less monster in the world. Oh, hello. Isran. Well, Uh, was that all of them? It was indeed. If you want to search the bodies and everything? I might. You've left some arrows around. I stepped on one. Um... Right, I don't know if I'm going to be able to smell dead vampire. So I'm just going to poke around with my stick until I find them, I suppose. There's one. Hmm. Ah. There's another one down here. Sorry about that. It's fine. Oh, you put an arrow in this one. So are you feeling any better? Much. Thank you. I do apologize for... being a bit... Out of hand, shall we say. It, it's alright, you were frozen, and I didn't mind the hug. We, uh, we, we don't need to talk about that, do we? <laughs> uh, not unless you want to. <laughs> Fair enough. Right. Uh, where's... Look at this. I should have known it was only a matter of time before they found it's us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. <laughs> well, I have news, but I wouldn't exactly call it good. Of course. Why did I suppose differently? Fine. Tell me what you know. So, the vampires were looking for a woman trapped in Dim Hollow Crypt. A woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? Uh... 
Well... Should I give him... The normal news first, or the weird news? Always start weird. That's what I say. <laughs> when have you ever said that? Anyway, she's the daughter of a powerful vampire lord. And so you delivered her to them. And they have an Elder Scroll as well, yes. They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll? Oh, believe me. If I had the chance, I would have, but I never got the chance. I suppose you're lucky you're not dead. Or worse, one of them. By the Divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. So you're just going to give up, is that it? When did I say that? We just need... We need help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here, but... There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Okay. So, where can I find them in that case? We have good men here. And one good woman, it would seem. Actually, no, there was that woman with the crossbow. Take that back. I take that back. Read to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in the reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. In the reach? I would have assumed that Dwemer were more of a Morrowind border thing. She'll help us. Might need a little convincing. But she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brute of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Last I knew he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Oh. Excellent. Well, let's just get going then. Keep your eyes open. Um, excuse me. <laughs> uh, I suppose he could be talking to you, couldn't he? Indeed. Well, let's be off, shall we? It's getting late, speaking of eyes open. Ah, wonderful. So we'll be looking for a troll tamer... And a tinkerer in the dark. I would rather not do this in the dark, if it's all the same to you. Because what little vision I do still have, it really doesn't work in the dark. So, oh gods, did he tell us... He didn't tell us where they would be, did he? Uh, no, he did not. Great. So here's my plan. Mm-hmm. We head to Riften. Spend the night. Ask around, see if anyone has heard of anyone matching that description. Either of those descriptions. Where have you led us? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I was just... There's... Stairs here. I was following the path. I'm terribly confused, actually. Why? Huh.
We're up on a wall. Oh! Oh, I wonder if we found the entrance to the gatehouse. That seems to be correct. How do we get back down again? There's a hole there. That's probably the stairs. Ack! <laughs> right. Let me just find our way back out of here. Right, head to Riften. Have a break. Figure out what next from there. Yes? That is my plan. Yes. Well, we know where Soreen is, roughly. In the Reach. Which is, of course, across the province. We could just take a carriage, I suppose, sleep in the carriage, and then deal with the reach when we get there. True enough. That is beautiful. But what? Well, you know those glaciers that fall off into the valley here? I... I can hear the little waterfalls, yes. Well, the waterfalls look like they're on fire. It's sunset, and the sky is pink. Oh, that's... that brings up a very... Thank you, Myth. I like that image. Just be on our way then, shall we? Well, I'm glad we didn't take the carriage idea. Are you keeping up? I am. It's a bit early. Apologies. That's fine. I quite like the, uh, the early morning mist. It sort of reminds me of home. A little bit. Colder, though. Far colder. Uh, anyway. Where did... What was that man's name? Oh, I don't know. I've forgotten. Uh... And who's the one that we're trying to find? Soreen is the Breton in the Reach. Uh, some old Nord. I don't remember, but I think I know where he's gone. And he, I you think, is across the bridge. You can't tell her what to do. I'm. Our only child, Am I to throw it to the wolves? You're hardly throwing it to the wolves. She just wants to see the world, just like I did when I was her age. And if she decides to leave Iverson, huh. what then? Right, where's the bridge? No, I can't bear the thought. You're right. Right. Ah, indeed. I need to pitch in a little more around. Oh. Well, somebody's left bones on the bridge again. I hear a bear. So, he's supposed to be around here somewhere. Ah, I can see that. Interesting. What was that Norse name? Ganmar? I believe so. And I think he's an animal expert. He would have been tracking that bear. There is, in fact, a Nord fighting said bear. Oh, cords, bats. Come 
on, bear. I've got him. Uh, Mr. Gunmar? Is that your name? You there. Hold fast. I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Uh, I, th I think we might have handled that for you. I'm glad we did, too, because... You got very injured, didn't you? Anyway, Isran needs your help. Isran needing someone else's help? Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? Um... Vampires. Vampires? That... Well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. Uh, we're not entirely sure, but we do know that they have an Elder Scroll, which is not ideal. By the eight. All right, look. I'll consider it, but I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. Well... Oh, bats, gods. Well, there appears to be more bears in the den. This is going to prove to be fun, isn't it? You have an interesting sense of fun, Myth. Agreed. And now I'm blind, but not deaf. Directly ahead of you. Okay. Shout. Uh, oh, there's a lip here. I see. Ah, come on. Oh, there's two. Ah. There we are. Well, gods, that was... Your ears ringing? <laughs> You're right? Uh, I think so. Right, so, Gunma. Don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. You've helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Yes? He said to meet him at Fort Dawnguard. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. Right. Meet you there, Gunma. We have chests to loot if you would like to do so. Maybe. Uh... <laughs> Do you need better armor? You know... I'm thinking about it, but I do sort of like the, uh... The roving woodsman aesthetic. <laughs> Is that what you've got going on? You know, honestly, I'm not sure. Nordic fashion is not exactly something that I'm terribly familiar with. It isn't exactly the, uh... My first choice. <laughs> Uh, Myth Idro is a man of fashion. Who would have thought? Right. 
Now where are we going? Ah. Well. Delightful. And now it's raining. I suppose we could go up to High Rothgar if you want. I very much do not in this weather. Which means we're trekking all the way out to the Reach. Amazing! <laughs> Love it! Hey, Sira. Uh huh. I wanted to talk with you. What is it? Hey, you're right. Just in general. Oh, you know. I think so. Getting by. I'm grateful for your company. Just so you're aware. I think I'm having a lot of things catch up with me. So if I'm a bit snippy around the edges, I do apologize. Be as snippy as you need to be. I don't really mind. Well, thank you for that. I do hope you know where we're going. Uh, well... Sort of. That's... It fills me with a sense of confidence, surely. If we could hire that guide again, I think we'd be in better shape. Uh-huh. Proper... <sighs> that was just me, it's fine. Right. Uh, pardon me for getting a little bit uneasy about being in the reach which I've heard is particularly a, uh, a particularly ferocious place to be between the wildlife and the reachmen that would be correct you'll want to either go up this cliff or turn around I will go up the cliff because I don't want to deal with that bear. A wise choice. We will want to follow that river at some point though. I think. completely lost my train of thought just now. Oh, what am I hearing? That would be a Forsworn camp. Great. So we sneak. I take it back, we're hearing a dragon. Oh boy. Oh, well. That makes it easier. Oh, I need the big stick for this one. Oh. Myth? I'm down. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Over here. We're good. It's on the ground. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. Myth, are you alright? Uh, more or less. Oh, thank you. Well. Uh huh. That, uh. That felt very, uh. Strange. <laughs> oh, because I was healing you and then the dragon just sort of... Uh, yes. Hey, at least it was a fire one this time. Are you alright? <laughs> More or less. Ha <sighs> ha, right. Oh gods, there's Forsworn nearby, aren't there? If there are, I think the dragon might have killed them. But best to be careful anyway. Uh huh. What an interesting day this is turning out to be. Are you all right? Um, a little crispy around the edges. Invigorated. Terrified. You know, just normal things. Right. <sighs> okay, where are we? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Probably better because you can actually have landmarks. Right, so we'll want to go up the river. That way? Yes. Whew. Adventure. What did I just hear? What kind of bird that is. I feel like I must have made some of these comments when we came through through here the first time. Heading to the Karth Spire. Uh I don't however remember. So I guess we found out where that dragon was buried. If you can hear the river, go toward it. It's sort of this way, I think. Oh, I don't like this at all. Uh-huh. <laughs> We're in a valley. If there are any archers or mountain cats, <laughs> we're sitting ducks. Great! Thanks! That is a spiky bush. They're all spiky in the reach. Fair enough. Duh! Wet feet. And mud crabs. Right, where are we following the river to exactly? Well, there's a Dwemer... Ah, I think we found Serene. Just walk forward and talk, I guess. Serene? You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I'd swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. 
wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Just look around, will you? Uh, sure. We just saw mud crabs. Well, he saw mud crabs. I heard mud crabs. Anyway, Isran asked me to find you. Isran? Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... Um, so the thing about that is that the vampires are sort of happening and we need your help. Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? Uh, the vampires? Have an Elder Scroll. Other than that, we don't really know. I... well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Uh... I don't think so. But we are sort of short on time, so... I'm sorry, but I'm not about to do that without at least a single gyro to show for my efforts. Alright. I'll see what I can do. Alright then. Great. Well, there's a chest here. We can check in that. Myth, this isn't a chest. It's some sort of... Convector, I think. Your knowledge of the Dwemer confounds me. Why am I looking? <laughs> uh, who knows, but there's a satchel down here, by the bank. Oh. Well, that'll do. Gods! I hate the drops. There it is. That'll do. I'm going to get all of them for her. She did sort of seem. And I'm turned around. Left. Hello, Spiky Bush. Just one gyro. One, and I can get back to work. Where are they? We still need your help. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece of dwarven equipment. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is useful stuff. In fact, I have seven for you. Here. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? Fort Dawnguard, as it turns out. Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Of course. Good day. Well... All the way back across the province we go. Indeed. Well, at least we're going together. Alright, I have to ask, are you flirting with me? Do you want me to be? I haven't made up my mind about that yet. Fair enough. I can lay off if you want. Let's 
just be on our way, shall we? I value your company. I don't really want to put a... anything in the way of that. I understand. And like I said, I'm not going to be pushy. Right, where are we going? <laughs> you can push me if we're going in the wrong direction, how about that? Fair enough. You just cross the river, I think Soreen went that way. If nothing else, Myth. You are very good at fighting dragons and I would be lost without you. I probably wouldn't have survived long without you either. Truth be told. <sighs> Back we go. Is it dawn yet? Uh, close enough to it. Dawn at Fort Dawnguard. I cannot tell you how tired I am. Uh. I think all of this trekking about is starting to- Hello, pine tree! Starting to wear on me a little bit. I honestly don't blame you. I may have a... Oh. Hmm? Now they've got flags. Seems these runners made some progress. Huh. In what... Barricade? Yes, there's... They've refurbished... Refurbished? Part of the... Defenses here. Oh, well, that's nice. Oh, a little Bailey. <laughs> I like it. Perfect for trapping vampires and then raining death down upon them, I suppose. Indeed. Is there anything else new here that I should be aware of? Not yet. Still exceptionally overgrown. And they haven't taken care of the bodies either. Wonderful. Ah, it is in fact dawn. Yeah? The sun is rising and painting the mountains. <laughs> Shall we go in? I'm following you. Suddenly gates. I'm not sure what's going on. All right, Isran. You've got us all here. Now what do you want? Hold it right there! What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? 
What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with it, shall we? Oh. Oh no. Oh dear. Right, just as it were on the same page. You're still feeling alright, right? I am, yes. No vampire flu to speak of. How do we get to where he is? Um, I don't know. Go to your right and we'll see if we can find some stairs. In fact, we can. Right. Yes. I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no one believed. Right. Where... where are we going? How can I help? Serene needs help with her project to improve our crossbows. And if that doesn't interest you, speak with Gunma. He has something for you. All right, good to know. Keep your eyes open. Where is he going? I assume he's leading us to the vampire. What do you want to bet? It's Serana. Ah. Uh, that would do it. Although I'm not entirely sure why she would show up here, of all places. Well. Hmm? An Argonian with bright red feathers. Excellent. Right, where are we going? Well, this is certainly a place. Gunmar and Soreen. Feel like we're in the halls of the Dwemer. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. It feels like another one of those... Oh. Light magnifier things. Well, I'll be. It is, in fact, Serana. Oh, good. So let's hear it. Ah, uh, right. What's going on, exactly? You probably weren't expecting to see me again. Um, no. <laughs> that would be putting it... lightly. Sorry. What are you doing here? I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. Uh, okay. What's wrong with you? The reason I was down there, and why I had the Elder Scroll. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person. Even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. Oh, delightful. Power obsessed. Anyway, what sort of prophecy? It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun, have vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. 
That's why I was sealed away with a scroll. He stopped you from... Okay. Might I just say, Serana, you took a very big risk coming here. I did. But something about you makes me think I can trust you. I hope I'm not wrong. No, oh, you're right, I think. We just need to convince the rest of the Dawn Guard that you're on our side. Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. <laughs> Why does that not make me feel better about this? Because when a vampire says persuasive... Yeah. Alright, Isran. Alright, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Well, first of all, her name is Serana. And... Second of all, you, you're being very short-sighted right at the moment. Which is easy for me to say, being an elf. However, please try to set your hatred aside and see the larger picture for five minutes? Set my hatred aside? Not a chance. It's what keeps me strong. I suppose I can't argue with that. But fine. If you don't trust her, trust me instead. I believe her. I'm sure Myth does too. I'm still working on that part. But I think I do. You better know what you're doing. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it, you hear me? Don't feel like a guest, because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, oh. don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. I, in fact, did not notice a giant thing on your back, but so... Thank you for saying that. Isran, did you really just call her an asset? <sighs> right. Focusing. Who can read the scroll? Well, the moth priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away. In Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind, and I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Ah, uh, well... Where would a moth priest actually go? Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. Oh. Well, that... That works. Okay, I guess we're all traveling together then. Are you alright? Oh, Peachy. Let's just say that... What Isran said struck me as familiar, and not in a good way. Uh, right, that's bright. Is, go is it going to be an issue traveling in the sunlight? Or 
Do you need something? No. No, let's just start looking, shall we? Indeed. Right. Before we do, I'm going to take a quick little break and ask Serene and Gunma what they need to be done. If we can figure that out along the way, several birds, one stone. Alright, let's get to it then.